Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 3 of Legend of Dragoon. We left off, we had just escaped from Helena Prison, and now we are in the forest just outside of it. Look at us running away with the high music. You know, it's kind of weird that this music comes on now, after we've just had the uh, sort of calming music of the outside or immediate outside area. Also, this is one of the few screens where your characters will actually follow you. Oh no! Lavitz gets nicked in the ankle! Apparently they still don't see us, even though they've shot an arrow at us. Really, Dart? You're an ass. It makes me wonder how deep that wound actually was. Because, I mean, if it just hit his ankle, it's, it's, I mean, it, it went right past him, too. It, it barely grazed him. Shen has already shown that she can fight. I don't understand why we're not letting her fight with us. It's kind of dumb. Oh, they're hot on our tails. Apparently, we can all fit behind that tree, and none of them think to look there. I... <laughs> oh no! They've found us! Nope. It's a bunny. No, that is not the fugitive. These guys really aren't that smart. I mean, I can I can understand how someone can break out of hell in a prison. Then again, almost everybody in this game isn't that smart. So, well, we made it out of there. Now we've got a few ways we can go. There's nothing back where we came. Uh, I'm pretty sure it'll stop us if we try to follow them. Yep. It stops us from going after them. And uh, we run into a battle, which I might skip. I don't know what the enemy is yet. Aha, new enemies, we'll fight them. Uh, these are kind of like mosquito bloodsucker type enemies. Vampire Kiwis. They've got the uh, dark blue backdrop, which is the dark element. Not really an element, but you know. Yes. Man, Dark does a hell of a lot more damage now. Oh, and I missed that addition. That's not good. Ah, they're sucking Shanna! Yeah. I, uh... I feel like I might have missed a weapon for Dart, which would be terrible if I did. I can't remember if- oh wow, and I missed another edition! I'm just really bad at this today. Normally I can get them most always, but I guess I gotta get back into the rhythm. Maybe it's the fact- ooh, and Lavitz levels up. Oh, and he has a new edition. Nope, we're not gonna switch to that. Not for a while. I wanna get everybody up on their editions. Um, I can't exactly remember if... Oh! Look at this. A river. Guess we can't go that way. I wonder if all of the characters need to have it... To have all their additions mastered in order to get their final edition. I know Dart does for sure, but I can't remember the other characters. I guess we'll find out. And another battle! Oh, and even more new enemies! Well, one new enemy. And the other one we saw just outside in the last episode. We've got a Mantis and a Crescent Bee. We've already seen the Crescent Bee, but the Mantis is not. Yes. It has a really high defense. So, probably the most dangerous enemy in this area. The Crescent Bee, however, is extremely weak. And Shanna is, again, completely worthless. 
I don't know how her attacks are um, governed or if there's anything special that they did to her attack, like if it goes up a lot more than others. I know that at higher levels she'll generally do more damage than most other characters if you don't do their additions, but she'll do pretty mediocre damage if you can complete additions all the way through. So it's hard to tell. Oh, and the first wind attack of the game. Don't worry, we'll get an item for that as well. It does do a hefty amount of damage though, which is pretty surprising. I'm not gonna heal up for a little while because we will get a full here, heal here in a little bit. And uh, I don't think anybody else levels up. Nope, nothing interesting yet. Oh, we're gonna get into some interesting stuff this episode. I think I know how far I want to go. Oh no, his ankle hurts. Oh, of course it hurts if he's going down to his knees. <laughs> don't you love this girl? You, you kind of don't want to insult her. And she did it for you. Dart, you're an asshole. You, you really are. Also, whoever built the shack has a terrible idea of building. I mean, holy crap, man. That's just... Wow. Oh, well. Um, apparently she healed him in another way. I, I wasn't expecting that. And hey, we got rid of them. You know, this shack looks an awful lot bigger on the inside than it did from the outside. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we just found the TARDIS. Well, it looks like we're about to get into some backstory. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I like how he starts our epic, it was Journey for Revenge, but it was Journey to find the guy. Well, what is this black monster in red? Well, you're always going to be too young, apparently. And Lavitz doesn't know. Neat. It's in red. It's important. Oh. Well, um. Haha, <laughs> deja vu. Look at that, the black monster. Killing everybody in sight. Oh, but look who escaped. Yeah, apparently you were the only one that was lucky. And then the father is going to stupidly rush back in. <sighs> Don't they ever learn that that never helps anyone? But what about Dart's mother? Uh oh. What happened to her? Yep. <laughs> and Dart falls on his face. Well, that was pretty sad. Although, I, I can't really blame them for dying. They kind of ran into the flames. But this is pretty sad. Poor kid. At least there's, like, no dead bodies around for him to be traumatized by. Oh, 
Oh, he's crying. Ooh, what's this? A shiny something. It's it's just shiny. It's not gonna explain what it is. Nope. Oh. Ah, something that we got from our father. Why wasn't it in red? Obviously, it's going to be important. <sighs> Game. Yep, that's about it. Nope, didn't find the black monster. Kind of useless. Hmm, so we're from another country. We're foreign! We're aliens! Illegal immigrants! Uh, apparently, he doesn't know what's going on. At least now we have an idea that he's gone... He's been gone completely from Sergio. Uh-oh. The dragon. What? You saw the dragon! Yeah, we, we we almost got killed by it. Yep. The dragon will kill us all. We're doomed. We're, there's no way to beat this. Nope. Bail. Bail is where we are headed. Mm-hmm. So royalty can help us out with our own problems as well. I actually like this. It's a very nice reason for Dart and Shanna to come along. I mean, it, it gives us a nice momentum without it being just a simply, Oh, I'll go with you! You know, he has something in it for himself. Oh, right. Let's take a break. We got a little uh, instant heal spot right here, so might as well use it. We can grind here if we want. I'm not going to. I'm going to try and not go through this game grinding. I know I will have to eventually. Uh, but honestly, if you master your additions, you should be able to get through most of the game perfectly fine. Ah, but we saw something in the shack that can help us, didn't we? Yep, so we're gonna steal a poor guy's axe. And another fight. Oh, wow! I actually did not expect a new enemy. I completely forgot about this one. The mole. Earth, of course. Um, really the elements really don't matter at this point in the game. It's kind of a moot point to even mention them because it do we don't get into it until we start using magical items. And I guess I could use like the spark net and the burnout, but it's really not worth it right now. There are a few enemies who I would like to save them on. One that's actually coming up soon. Um, so I'll probably use it then and then never again in the game. Um, they're generally not as powerful as what your own characters can do. From what I've seen, I I don't know, maybe because I'm... Oh, damn it, I missed another edition. Maybe because I'm not uh, uh, grinding out this game, I might have to use them more. I know some of them can actually do quite a bit of damage. I kind of wish I had a turbo controller to cheat them out and get a ton of damage out of them, but I just don't. Also, this mole was a really slow enemy. And they're dead. I also want to apologize for putting up this episode later in the day than I usually do. I just had a busy Thursday for once. But uh, next Thursday will be back to getting it somewhere in the middle of the day and on to schedule. I'm thinking about putting out another something weekly. I'm not sure yet. 
Yep. I really wish we could just walk around with this or even equip it. But nope, it's just a key item. Nobody uses axes in our party. Um, yeah. I, <laughs> I'm not sure why we have to have a cutscene for this. I mean, he went through this. That's a big f f axe. Also, not the same axe that we picked up from the shack, if anyone remembers. The one from the shack had a double blade. And we lost the tree. Good job, guys. Good job. Yep. Y'all suck. Well, maybe there's something down by the river that can help us. You never know. We always have to look for more options. Now, we can't go back the way we came. And we can't go over to Seelys because... Um... That's where the Helena guys went. So, this way. What's that? Oh, hey! Look! It's the tree trunk. And it stops conveniently for us. Ain't that nice. So we get across. Safe and sound. Oh, box. Open up. Angel's Prayer! Another phoenix down. And probably fast forward through this because it's probably an enemy we've seen before. You know, a question to anybody who has played this game. Um, do you time your additions by the sounds, by the animation, or the actual boxes on screen? Myself, I kind of use a combination of the box and the sounds. I've sort of gotten it to like a natural rhythm with the sounds that are made. Oh, look at these people. Uh-oh. What? So these guys are from the other side. Kazas. Well, look at Lavis. Ain't he the noble knight? You know, in truth, they're probably going to be arrested. I, I'm not exactly sure what he gave him, but we don't really seem to have any provisions on us. So, I, I can't help but, uh, I, I can't help but think of what he actually gave him to eat. I mean, especially because this game sort of takes on the uh, idea of, like, a medieval setting. In a way, it's not completely medieval, but, uh... Lavitz seemed to help these guys out. Ain't he nice? I don't understand why there's enemies on the screen with the people here. Oh, look at them. They're nice people. Looks like they should have moved to this country a long time ago. <laughs> oh, and another fight. Why? At least I enjoyed the music of this game. Also, the occasional uh, little bit from the voice actors. You know, I should look in the credits for who the voice actors actually were. Because I, I kind of like how, the way that most of them sound in their little bits that they actually got to record. Oh, look at this! We're out! And uh, we can't see at the bottom of the map anymore because we've actually moved into a new area. So now we're heading up all the way over there to bail. But first we have to go through this limestone cave. Ooh, even more new enemies in here. I actually like the beginning. Well, not just this game. I have a thing for uh, the beginning of games. I just like to play them over and over. Oh, detonate rock. I think that's our first earth-based attack. Oh, and there's no, there was nothing over here. I thought detonate rock was a uh, item that you could use in the field the first time I picked it up, and I was like, oh, maybe I can open up a path with this. No, not that kind of detonate. Oh, new enemies. Oh, and I hate this angle. Wow, that might be the first time a miss has ever come up in this game. Wow. There we go. That's a little bit more standard. 
So screaming bats and orcs, all of them of the dark. Yes. Oh, we missed. Yep. Dart and Lavitz are going to have problems hitting the bats. Shanna can, however, take them out pretty easily. She has a very high hit percentage. I think that's the main draw with Shanna. She'll pretty much hit anybody all the time just because she's got an arrow. Uh, but we want to take out the orc then. Or try to. The orc has a lot of HP and a higher uh, defense than most enemies. Oh, an ultrasonic. A dark based attack. You can also tell the uh, type of attack it is by the name that pops up at the top. It'll also have the plate of what element it is. You know, somebody mentioned in the comments that it probably is the same animation every time, and I'm inclined to believe with them just because of watching. I'm. I, I think it's just from different angles it looks different because uh, seeing darts from behind it looks like he swings his sword up but I can see that it's ending the same as it normally does so never mind about that he actually slashes with his uh, arm from, from what's seen in the uh, regular animation from the front which is interesting. It makes me think that like his gauntlet has a knife on it or something, which is pretty awesome in my opinion. And oh no! Nope. Oh yeah, there we go. That's the end of the first combat in the caves. She's a terrible victory dance. She gets all huffy. She's like, we're alive. We're okay. Yes, we're fine. They're not that hard of enemies. I do kind of like the uh, subtle techno that's here. Oh, right. This place. Um. I can't remember. Oh, okay, there we go. So you just uh, point the control stick in the direction that you want to go. Ah, there we go. That's what I was remembering. The Bastard Sword. We get our first new weapon. And look at that. That's a much, much better attack. Look at that. Seven instead of two. Wow. We're not going to get anything for anyone else uh, for a while. But finally, we've got a new weapon for someone. Or for Dart, specifically. Ooh, and Stepping Stones. Now let's see how much damage Dart does with this new sword. It's quite a lot. It's actually pretty absurd how much of an upgrade it is, especially- Oh, and new enemies! Especially when uh, Dart already does some of the highest damage on your team. Now he's gonna be above Lavitz, even. Ew, they're throwing slime at us! Oh, and... Ugh. Okay, first status ailment. Dark. We can't... Attack. Well, I guess I'll just heal up for a little. And I wanted to show off his attack and everything, and this sucks. I guess I'll just have to kill them the old-fashioned way. And show you with another... I, I think there's one other enemy in this cave that we have yet to come across. Oh, and Shanna is now dark. Darked up. I can just use this opportunity to heal my characters. While well, Lavitz takes out the slime. Lavitz really is one of the slowest characters that we have at the beginning of the game. I think it's because he wears so much armor. Body purifier. <laughs> I like that we get the item that we need to get rid of dark as soon as we're out of the uh, out of the fight. Hmm. Yep. I don't see why this is such a problem. I'm actually not sure how deep that water is. I mean, it doesn't look all that deep to be perfectly honest. Total Vanishing. What does that do? I forget. 
We have a lot of healing potions. Nullifies poison, stunning, arm blocking. That's uh, the thing that we just got. Uh, huh. Total vanish. I guess it's a it's a, something. Oh, destroys minor enemies. It's an instant kill move, basically. Uh, you cannot un use it on bosses. We have quite a lot of stuff. 25 out of 32. We're going to have to get rid of so some stuff eventually. And another item for us. Body purifier. Good. We need to stock up on those. And we made it across. Oh, you idiot. I'm not sure how we're both fitting on the same stone. Also, we're awesome. Saved his life. Yep. Aren't you now my, like, personal slave or something by Klingon law or something like that? I don't know. Yep, you were lucky. You wouldn't have done it any other way. They're having a bro moment. Oh, God. It's guy love between two guys. Okay. We're out. Uh, I think up here is something interesting. Ah, that little thing. I hate that thing. Don't worry, we're going down there. That's actually a very interesting little part. I wonder if I'll be able to do it because I've actually skipped that in some playthroughs. I've just gotten frustrated with it. Rock fireflies. Oh, what do they do? These mystical things better have a use. Yes, what Shanna says. Oh boy. And insta heal again. You know. I can't remember if these things come up again, but, well, they might. <laughs> um, well, it's a little weird, yeah. Well, Lavid still lives with his mom. Uh, power item over here, and another item up there, where you gotta get both. Because we love items. We need them all. We want them all! Oh, and another fight. And with the new- the last enemy that we need to check out, and hopefully... I'll get to attack before <laughs> Dart gets uh, slimed again. I don't think that the uh, weapons change. Oh, come yeah. on. Okay, Lavitz is fine. Whatever. Dark him. All right. So before he was doing about 14. 18. That's a pretty good boost, I, I, I gotta say. Although somehow it did not kill the slime in one hit. Very strange. Poke the balloon! Cut a lot of damage, but did not, did not kill it. That balloon can actually be kind of... Yeah, there, that's why it's a problem. It's the first enemy that can inflict poison on us. We take a lot of damage. You take 10% uh, damage every turn from poison. And I don't think that blocking does anything against poison either so it's a pretty good idea to just get rid of that as soon as you can but thankfully none of these enemies are that hard at this point in the game 
We can just very quickly get past them. Alright, we're nearing the end of this uh, place. Got a charm potion. And now we want to head over here. Wait, is this the way we move forward or? I forget. Yes, it is. Okay. Nope. We're going back. <laughs> we got to get something. I know we keep saying another fight, but uh, I like the combat in this game. It's just boring to show on YouTube. I forgot to mention that poison actually doesn't get healed uh, after a battle like Dark does or Arm Block or whatever that actual thing is. But we have two body purifiers. I really hate to use them right now, but uh, they're kind of annoying. Also, I think we have quite a lot of healing potions. I'm going to use one on Dark. It does ha uh, was it half or quarter HP? I can't remember. Uh, I didn't really pay attention, but. It does quite a bit of healing. Uh, eventually, that will not be enough for your characters. And so thankfully, the healing items ramp up quite nicely. Okay, this screen. I'm going to speed this up because it's really annoying. But we're going to catch that little bitch. Because, well, I can't remember what he gives us. But we're going to catch it. <laughs> Oh wow, that actually was a lot quicker than I thought it would be. He jumps over there, jump after it, open this up, and we get a poison guard. Very, very useful. So we're going to go ahead into armed. And the bracelet actually doesn't do anything. Now, Shanna's got the night shield, so we'll leave that on her. I gotta give this poison guard to Dart then. Uh, make sure if you play this game that you catch this thing and you don't give up. It's very simple. You just run around the inner ring and if you run around the inner ring most of the time it will run on the outside part and you can very easily catch it. You will run faster than it if you run around that middle ring. Do not follow it. Alright. Now that I've wasted our time a little bit, let's go ahead and get out of here. Right after this fight. A really easy way to tell that if you've hit or missed an enemy is to watch out for the uh, addition boxes or the uh, little X in the bottom corner. They won't actually pop up if uh, you've missed the enemy, so you don't have to get ready for it. You can just wait for the animation to finish. Also, a nice fun thing about that battle, uh, Dart almost got poisoned, but since we put the poison guard on him, nothing happened. Good stuff. Like I said, very important that you pick that up and don't just give up. I remember a few times when I was younger, I just gave up on catching that thing. We're gonna save because something is coming up very soon. Yes, I have two save files. They're both of the same uh, game. Just making sure that if I mess up on a recording, I have a save file to start from. I need to do it over again. Oh, we have one more thing. What's over here? Body purifier. I always feel like there's one more piece of equipment in here. That's the last box, but I may be wrong. It may be from a drop or something. Aha! We do get something else. Bandana. Can't remember who can use that. Okay. <laughs> Apparently only Lavitz can, and it's a piece of shit. So, uh, don't equip that. Oh, wait, is that what Dart's wearing right now? Okay, so I guess if you wanted, you can give the bandana to Lavitz, take off the salad, and put the salad on Dart if you wanted, but there's no reason to. We're almost out of the cave! Just got a little bit more to go. So 
something there. Uh oh. We learned about this in the last episode, didn't we? Oh, uh, Shanna's all up for this. I smell boss fight. Well, that doesn't look so bad. Oh my god, it's huge! Well, uh, this will be interesting. Welcome to the third boss in the game. Ouroboros. It's, it's, it's a plan Ouroboros. Oh my god, it does a lot of damage. That's okay, we're just gonna pummel it to death. It's a pretty easy boss fight. There's not a lot to be concerned with. Lavitz can still be poisoned, so can Shanna. We don't give a crap about Shanna. Though. She's pretty much useless. Urobolus. Urobolus. I have a feeling it's supposed to be Uroboros. But it's not. It can take quite a punishment, though. And we actually don't have its uh, alternate element in any of our items. Uh, since it's Earth, it would be Wind, I think. I almost feel like Lavage should do extra damage, but his physical attacks are not. Uh -oh. oh, yeah, I forgot to show off. Shanna's color. Shanna is the yellow or light. Uh, I, mean, I guess that's yellow. Yeah, that's the light element. Darts red, fire, and Levitz is green. I wish Levitz did extra damage. It would make him a lot more useful in this fight. But for now, we're just gonna hit it with as much as we can. Keep doing all of our combos and additions. There's not a lot to this boss fight, and I wish there were there was more. Oh. And here's why we needed the poison guard. Because that will poison you. Thankfully, we got very, very lucky, and none of us got poisoned. Now, when the enemy is up there, uh, Dart and Lavitz can't actually hit it. So, but Shanna can. That's the one point in the game where she's actually useful. So, we're not going to have either of them attack. But now, we can finally finally use our items. Uh, now detonate rock attacks multiple enemies, so I'm gonna, just gonna use spark nets and burnouts. Uh, I can't remember if spark nets don't do as much damage to Earth. But I know that spark nets do slightly more damage than burnouts in general, which is interesting, but... Ah, press the X button as fast as you can! I can't press it that fast! actually deals quite a decent amount of damage. I'm surprised. And I'm going to have Dart heal up since he's taking kind of beating. Uh-oh, what's going to happen? Another one of the poison attacks. Or maybe that can't poison you. I, I don't remember. Oh, we've got Urbolos down to yellow. About half of his health is gone. Thankfully, this enemy does not have any healing attacks or effects or oh, oh wait that's the poison thing right we're not gonna worry about Shanna why because I am a cold hearted ass that and we can end this fight before she'll die from poison at least I'm pretty sure we can I always get to 156% and that's about it that's as much as I can do um uh, or I might have to start healing Shanna. Mm -hmm. But I don't really want to use Body Purifier. Uh, let's just use a healing potion on her half of max, max HP. And she'll be able to survive the rest of the battle, even while poisoned. Oh, nope. Not attack. Use a Burnout. Now, if you attacked with the physical, if you attacked physically, they would tell you that you should take this part of the fight to uh, step back and heal up or whatnot, but I'm not listening to them. Also, Shanna, why do you have to be the fastest person on our team? She's going to get hurt every time. Come down here already. There we go. 
and red. A few more hits and we should be able to end this. Now it does it by percentage, so I can't remember exactly how many more hits, but uh, should be over soon. Aha, you can't poison dart. Yes. We should be getting very, very close to the end now. Also, Shanna, stop taking damage. <laughs> stop being so fast. I definitely don't want anyone to die during this fight, though, because the amount of XP that you get from bosses is quite a lot. Enough to level up your characters once or twice. Actually. I'm going to be very upset if I have to heal her twice. Oh, damn it. I missed an addition. But it's okay, because we've ended the fight. And Dark does a very cool jumping slash attack at his face. Well, there we go. We've taken it down. I always wondered why the frames were so low in these uh, cutscenes. I also kind of wonder why we don't get pre-rendered cutscenes here. These are like in the game engine. Or why can't we have these all the time when we're I, I, out of battle? Because most of the time we get the really boring ones. I don't know. I'm just complaining for no reason to complain. Uh-oh! It's still alive! Oh, she's gonna die! Yes! What? The... What? I... Excuse me, why didn't you do this before the battle? Uh, you have an insta-kill attack, Shanna. Are, are you not useless or are you useless? You need to tell me these things. We get a War God's Amulet from this. Everyone gets a level up. I forget what the War God's Amulet does. I may need to check as soon as we're out of the battle. Yeah, I want to know what happened, too. Bullshit, you don't know. This must be the reason why she was kidnapped. She's a weapon of some sort. That's not as cliche as that. I think. I actually can't remember. <laughs> the part that they explain it. I can't remember. Uh, let me check what the War God's amulet does. Oh, and Shin's poison. Increases hit rate for attacking all... But 20%, not bad, not bad at all. Now, since we've got the poison guard and she's got the night shield, we're gonna give Lavitz the uh, War God's amulet. And uh, Shanna is poisoned, but we're gonna get to a uh, healing place soon enough. So I'm not going to heal that. And we're out of the caves. Or shit, almost. Ah, crap. I'm gonna have to fight, aren't I? Oh, this is not fair. Alright, who thinks I can book it from here to the end without a fight? You'd be wrong! Damn it. Nope. Nope, I thought I was going to get away, and nope. All my hopes are ruined. But we're finally out of the cave now. Now we're on the north end of Sir, Sir Dio. And we are going up and around. Oh, damn, I just had to get to bail. Although we might... Oh, this enemy. This is a very interesting enemy. It only has one HP. If you can kill it within the one HP, you get a ton of money. That's the yellow bird. Oh no, I think it has two or three HP. If you could kill it before it runs away, nope, we're not gonna get it. I'm not sure how to kill it. I don't know if there's any way to do it immediately, but it has a very, very high uh, defense, and I think two or three HP at max. 
So, uh, you get a ton of money for killing it, though. And we've made it to Bale. But that's for next time. We will enter the city of Bale, do a bunch of stuff, and get backstory and a whole lot of other things. See you next week. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll put up another one. Alright, bye everybody!